what's up guys welcome back to another video today we're going to be checking out what to eat and drink on german christmas market so it is getting close to christmas so i thought maybe check out some like christmas videos so this is what i found for today if you've got any more like christmas german video suggestions do let me know on our discord community link is below in the description so go join that as well guys don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel all those beautiful things and yeah let's get right on with the video what does the German Christmas season taste like? Let's I'm in Bremen at one of the most beautiful Christmas markets in northern Germany. I'll be going on a food tour to find out what is typical here at a German Christmas market and how it all contributes to the German Christmas spirit. I mean, I will Christmas show you some markets, Christmas classics. Of course, try are a strange amazing, looking bro. local like, dish. I absolutely love Christmas markets. Just the feeling you have, like when you're at Christmas markets. It just makes you feel like Christmassy and all that, you know? So it's pretty cool. And explain the story behind a controversial drink. But first, I want to ask the people Ooh, here what there is to eat. Bro. All kind of sausages. Bratwurst, food, currywurst. Bratwurst. Sausage. Bratwurst. There's no good bratwurst in the US. Everyone so you have to have like as much as you can sausage. in Germany while you're here, so. <laughs> Well, that's no surprise. Oh, look there at are those. around 1,500 types of sausages in Germany. Most Germans consume an average of around 200 grams of sausage products per week. But what else is there? Now that is just crazy. There. Bro. Wine? Blue wine. Crepe. Wow, bro. Roasted almonds. Mushrooms. We got quite a few suggestions there, and I'm really looking forward to that glue vine. But first, I'm going to go for something savory. Mm. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Sautéed mushrooms are a popular choice, as mushrooms. well as Kartoffelpuffer, okay. a fried potato pancake. But I'm going for a special Bremen dish. Okay, it says bestes aus Bremen, the best of Bremen. I found it. And they have Grünkohl. Let's try it. Oh. Grünkohl is kale served with Pinkel, a type of groats sausage. Okay. It looks interesting, actually. Das Grünkohl immer nach dem ersten Frost, der muss einmal Frost gehabt haben. Und die Grützwurst ist eben was ganz Weiches. Die gibt's auch im Darm. Und ist eben mehr wie, wie Gerste. All right, it looks a little weird, but I want to try it. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, I, that's something I want to try for sure, bro. Hopefully, I do manage to visit mm. Germany sometime. Very flavorful, salty. That kale is really good. Since we're in northern Germany, I also want to try fish. Flammlachs is salmon attached to a piece of wood and cooked over an open fire. Seasoned with just salt, mm. it's served with a bit of sauce. What would you recommend? Honey mustard. Honey mustard? Okay, let's do it. Although it's originally from Finland, salmon has mustard, become bro. quite popular at German Christmas markets. It's also not a bad spot to stay warm. Okay. Okay, let's get some honey mustard. Oh yeah. That's what we like, bro. It's very salty, very flavorful. It's really good. So we've covered the savory, and now I'm in the mood for one of the highlights of Christmas, of course, the sweets. Oh yeah, we all German love Christmas sweets. sweets include Lebkuchen, roasted almonds, and of course, Lebkuchenherzen. Ooh. But something with a funny name catches my eye. What are these? This sounds very German. Marzipan Kartoffeln? Marzipan potatoes? What is that? Made of marzipan and typically coated with cocoa powder, they look like little potatoes. Wow. This stand here sells them in different flavors, too. That's pretty cool. You can also find these at the supermarket, but usually just the classic flavor. This one's pistachio. Wow, two different flavors. That's well. really good. Mm -hmm. I can taste the cherry. Oh my god. Salt and caramel. That's good. Wow, bro. It's really good. I want to try that as well. I also try some Lebkuchen, a gingerbread-like cookie popular during Christmas time. With red chocolate pepper. Yeah. Here is also almonds, mm. hazelnut and walnut inside. Mm -hmm. No flour. These kind are called Elisen and have a soft and nutty Elisen. texture. All right. Next up are Schmalzkuchen. Mm. They are made fresh right in front of me at this stand here. Could you explain to me what are exactly Schmalzkuchen and how is it prepared? Oh, it's a fresh teig mm -hmm. with meal, eier, zucker, salt, and we make it here in our machine. Mm -hmm. You can see it, we make it fresh all the time. Wow. Schmalzkuchen literally translates into lard cakes. Doesn't sound very appetizing, but so don't worry, just... the dough is fried in just regular oil. Why that? And it's ready. Wow, they are basically cool. little pillow-shaped donuts. 
dough. It's like just dough, you know? That's a lot of powdered sugar. Donuts, as mentioned. <laughs> mm. It's good. After all that food, I need some drink to wash it all down. Oh, yeah. So finally, some glue vine. But there are also many other options, too. There are both non-alcoholic and alcoholic choices. I want to order some drinks now, including this one, which is quite a controversial name, but it's actually just hot chocolate with rum. Patrice Lumumba was a Congolese independence hero who was shot in 1961. There's ongoing debate about whether it's disrespectful to call a hot chocolate with a shot after him. Another name for the drink is Tota Tanta, or Dead Aunt. Wow. Hot chocolate with a kick. Hot chocolate, of course. You need those drinks. Next comes Christmas the mold wine. Time, it is estimated that Germans drink mold an average wine. of 50 million liters of it each year. Wow. Mold wine is pretty oh. good as well. That's really good. So, das ist ja Rotwein und dann kommt da rein Zimt, Nelken und ein bisschen Orange. You could also get glue vine with an extra shot inside, like with amaretto or rum, but I don't want to get too drunk right now, so I just stick to the plain one. Wow. And now Aya Punch. It's similar to American eggnog, but made with an egg liquor. That has a really strong kick to it. It tastes like egg. Yeah, but it's good. I like it. Wow. Some cool drinks as well. But which is my favorite? It's actually hard to say because they're all very different. I would say the one that... I mean, like, hot chocolates, bro. Like, when I listen, like, hear the word hot chocolate, the only thing that comes to my mind is, like, winter and Christmas. Those are the only two things that come to my mind, honestly. So that's why... <laughs> Hot chocolates are a must during Christmas times, especially at these like Christmas markets and stuff. Are absolutely amazing. Gives me the biggest Christmas feeling is definitely the glue vine because it has all those Christmas spices. Okay. So for the Christmas feeling, this one is the winner for sure. You see, Christmas feeling and all that crazy stuff, bro. So I'm all warmed up inside and full of German Christmas food, and I have to say, I really enjoyed everything. What foods bring you into the Christmas spirit? Let us know in the comments. Uh, these are like um, cookies, right? Seem pretty cool. I mean, different shapes, sizes. Nice. So, yeah, that was that right there. I mean, that was amazing. The sausages at the start as well. You saw like the curly sausages. That was something I've never seen before. So that was amazing as well. But overall, pretty good video. Really enjoyed it. So yeah, let me know, you guys, your thoughts in the comments below. Shout out to this channel. Link will be in the description below to the original. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. And we'll be seeing you on the next video. Peace out.